Howdy, Aaron Boster here with the Ohio Health MS Center, planning to bring you a series of quick updates on monitoring MS disease modifying therapies. My plan is to take each class of medicine and share with you the dragnet, just the facts, things that we need to be monitoring for to keep us safe. To start the series off, let's start talking about interferon beta products. Now, there are many, many interferon beta products, and we can lump them all together as a class as we talk about monitoring. It's my opinion that before anyone starts a beta interferon product, we need to make sure that we have an up-to-date uh, CBC, uh, that's a complete bug count, with differential, and that way we can look at their white blood cell counts, we can look at their hemoglobin status and their platelet function before getting started. I also think that it's important to get a liver enzyme test, and so we want to make sure that we know their baseline liver enzymes. I also think it's uh, best practice to check a uh, thyroid function, and so we want to do those beforehand. We also want to make sure that we're sensitive to if the patient has refractory depression or spasticity, which rarely can be a problem in the setting of starting interferons, although that's not all that common. Once someone has started on interferon therapy, every three to six months it's a best practice to repeat a CBC with differential and look at the liver enzymes. And I think that once every year or so, checking a thyroid panel is also very appropriate. Uh, as far as precautions when taking uh, the interferon medicines, one of the biggest things we need to look for is uh, injection reactions. We want to make sure that people are using proper injection technique and so that they don't develop uh, an ulcer or skin breakdown uh, from inappropriately injecting or inappropriately injecting in the same location multiple times. Once again, this is Aaron Boster with a quick update on monitoring DMTs, uh, spending a few minutes uh, in this instance talking about uh, interferon beta class medicines. Thank you. Have a great day.